Right now, the cells that make up your body are aging. The very mechanisms that make you who you are are deteriorating with time. This is why as we age, we become more vulnerable to disease. Fortunately, we live at a time at which medical and genetic engineering technologies are improving exponentially with time, some even more quickly than Moore's law. Within the next few decades, we'll have access to therapies that, although today may be considered like science fiction, in the future will make great leaps and bounds into how we age and what our health will be like when we're older. So what's the problem here? Those future medical therapies will be vastly more capable if we can have our young cells available. From the creation of organs to their use as templates for genetic therapy, youthful cells will be invaluable. Yet today, there is no such service where people can go to pay to cryopreserve their youthful cells. At CryoCapsule, we're working on creating the solution for effective collection, transportation, and long-term preservation of human cells to be returned to customers in the future. So, the vehicle for this is the cryocapsule. It is an innovative reservoir designed to ensure that cells remain viable on their way to the lab. Because human cells are so small, we're able to store tens of thousands of them in a single cryofreezer unit for less than $3 per sample per decade, making this a very affordable venture. Having interviewed students from every faculty on campus, we found that about 75% both understood the cryocapsule concept and wanted their, cryos, their cells cryogenically preserved, but expected the service to cost way more than they could afford. After we told them that it would cost 10, not hundreds of dollars, these people enthusiastically said that they would purchase the product. Interestingly, often we come across students who, they weren't just excited, they felt so compelled that they needed to get their cells into a cryogenic storage solution that they made sure to keep in touch with us. This is the first venture, the first venture to come out of iGEM, the genetic engineering team on campus that competes internationally every year. We have proven track record of project success, strong connections within the biology department, and access to organizations like the Ontario Genomics Institute. The cryocapsule team is comprised of Patrick, our buffer chemistry specialist, Ayan, our cell biology expert, Matt, our project design lead, uh, Lauren, the marketing and sales manager, and uh, Julian, our finance and economics uh, guy. So, this is the kind of service that is going to cater to educated, tech-savvy people. This is why in the first quarter of 2016, we're preparing to launch a Kickstarter, and we're hoping to have our first cryocapsule uh, product ready by the third quarter of that year. Cryocapsule. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sweet. So the first thing is you we're out of time, and you didn't need to go into each team member. Just say that you have a great team, and kind of just quickly, you know, one or two sentence on your guys' skills. Um, second, it wasn't clear from the beginning that it was a service you guys were doing. I was wondering, it's like, okay, wait a second, is this going to be like some type of machine that you step into that makes you <laughs> age backwards? Um, yeah, and finally, um, the slides are kind of out of order. The second slide with the cost per genome should really, if you want to have that in, should come after um, your problem statement and when you actually go into your solution, because after that, I don't know. I don't have much to add on top of that. Um, <laughs> but I would say I don't even know, think you need the slide to just show the cost, you just say like, oh, it's cheap now, uh, you can do it. And again, yeah, I didn't get that it was a service, like, oh, you store it, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah my comments would be along the same lines, um, the technology that you're making, just to make the messaging a little bit more straightforward, maybe polish the premise when you start so that people actually know what to look for. Because because there's a lot of content, uh, potentially a lot of new materials that people have never seen, if you just set the premise right, that would probably help. Sure. Thank you. Hold on.